Good day, family. And all praise to our Father, only our Father, the Almighty Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Hebrew Israelite camps, Christians, Ohio Bangad, Bababa, Big Levi, Big Judah, and many more are leading you to your death. Psalms 1 1 through 6. Blessed is the man who has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, and has not stood in the way of sinners, and has not sat in the seat of evil men. Who are the counsel of the ungodly? Those that preach, praise, acknowledge, or even mention Lucifer Hawashai. Those that acknowledge and mention or summons their elders. Those that acknowledge earthly mothers or Gaia. Those that acknowledge, praise, or mention anything alongside the Most High Creator are ungodly. And if you listen to them, you're going to die with them. Two. But his pleasure is in the law of the Almighty Creator, and in his law will he meditate day and night. And he shall be as a tree planted by the brooks of water, which shall yield its fruit in its season, and its leaf shall not fall off. And whatsoever he shall do shall be prospered. Not so the ungodly, not so, but rather as the chaff which the wind scatters away from the face of the earth. Therefore, the ungodly shall not rise in judgment, nor sinners in the counsel of the just. For the Most High knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. If you are receiving counsel from any of these wicked kids, look up the definition of kid, then you're going down with them, regardless of the fact that they use some scripture from the Old Testament to further their agendas. Walk with me. In no way am I telling anyone to get violent while we're still captives in these many lands, but think about this. You and I are in our land, and we see, for example, Ahia Ban Gad, or Big Levi, or Big Judas Goat, preaching, preaching earth, earthly mother garbage and druid witchcraft. Or someone from one of the camps, or a Christian, same thing, preaching Lucifer Hawashai to a group of our people. Now you and I have a choice. We can either walk away and mind our business, or we can do what the Most High tells us to do and stone their wicked asses to death. If you don't pick up that rock to put in work, then you're allowing them to pull our people away from the Most High. That would make you also ungodly, and you also would receive some stones to your skull. We aren't supposed to be listening to their wickedness. Once again, I'm not advocating violence while we are still captives. The Most High allows us to see the ways of the ungodly. How can you tell the ungodly? They will throw everything at you except the laws, statutes, and commandments. GMS, ISUP, IUIC, Ahia Ban Gad, Big Levi, Big Judas Goat, and Christians will not give you the Most High Scripture of him telling you how to become righteous. They'll tell you everything else and get you reading from books that the Most High doesn't speak in, like the New Testament. But they won't tell you how to become righteous, per the Almighty Creator. They'll say things like, let's leave out the scripture and use common sense. Or they'll say that we don't have to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments here in captivity. Then they'll say that we can't keep all the commandments here in captivity due to the heathen laws. Challenge, challenge them more, and they'll turn it on you and ask if you are keeping the Almighty's law, statutes, and commandments. For all the wicked seed that say we don't have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, here's some scripture. 
for everyone else here's how to get righteous for the most high exodus chapter 10 verses 12 13 and 15 and now israiah what does the most high thy savior require of thee but to fear the most high thy redeemer and to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve Aya thy creator with all thy heart and with all thy soul. 13. To keep the commandments of Aya thy Savior and his ordinances, all that I charge thee today, that it may be well with thee. Only Aya, the Most High Creator, the Almighty Creator, chose your fathers to love them, and he chose out their seed after them even you listening to this video beyond all nations as at this day this was said before we got dispersed so that means he's talking about now us the almighty creator just said that he loved our forefathers the ones that followed the laws, statutes and commandments and that's why we the children of the Most High are here today. Remember, not all skin folk are kin folk. That shows us that these wicked, ungodly people aren't the Almighty's children, and that's why they preach what they do. They ain't us, and they don't know our Creator. That's why when you give them Scripture, they fight you. When they know they can't win, they block you. They say ignorant things when you give them scripture proving them wrong, wrong, like, I'm going to delete the comments and send them to the moon. That quote is from the wicked seed Ahio Bangad. Instead of dialogue to work out the scriptures, he gives us an asinine, childish, moronic quote, and then he blocks you. Side note. I heard that Ohio Band Gad now has his 501c3 to run a church. If that's true, then that tells me he's nothing but a Roman in blackface, nothing more, just like the rest of them. Let me give you more scripture that these evil kids, the camps, and Christians won't teach you. I've already shown you Exodus 10, or Exodus chapter 10 verses 12, 13, and 15, which tells us in these days to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments. There's more scripture they won't teach, thus showing what and whose kids they are. Deuteronomy 6, 25, and I read, And it will mean righteousness for us, if we are careful to observe all these commandments in obedience to Aya, our Most High Creator, just as He has commanded us. Leviticus 18.26 And I read, And ye shall keep all my statutes and all my ordinances, and ye shall do none of these abominations, neither the native nor the stranger that joins himself with you. Message Ezekiel 11 20 that they may walk in my commandments and keep mine ordinances and do them and they shall be to me a people and I will be to them a God second Kings 17 15 this is from the KJV I read and they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he had made with their fathers and his testimonies which he had testified against them they followed idols became idolaters and went after the nations who were all around them concerning whom the Almighty had charged them that they should not do like them Ezekiel 18 9 and I read and has walked in my commandments and kept mine ordinances to do them he is righteous he shall surely live saith the Almighty and Leviticus 20 uh, verse 22 and keep ye 
all my ordinances and my judgments, and ye shall do them, and the land shall not be aggrieved with you, into which I bring you to dwell upon it. The only way to get righteous and walk out of these ungodly nations is to follow the Almighty Creator's laws, statutes, and commandments. There is no other way, there is no other Savior, there is no other Redeemer. There is only the Most High Creator, the Almighty Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Get righteous, family, and separate. We don't know how much time we have left. Have a beautiful day, family, and I love you.